Who, who was following who? I mean, isn't that what this case boils down to? That was our theory. Now, we respect the jury's verdict, but really what it boiled down to is a kid minding his own business being followed by some, a stranger. And so I would submit that that's when it started. Jury uh, obviously disagreed at some point, and you'll be able to hopefully inquire of them of what they thought. But when you, it boils down to is you got a 17-year-old kid who is minding his own business, wearing a hoodie, and gets accosted, gets followed by an individual who wants to be a cop. I, I do want to mention one more thing. This case has never been about race, nor has it ever been about the right to bear arms, not in the sense of proving this as a criminal case. But Trayvon Martin was profiled. There is no doubt that he was profiled to be a criminal. And if race was one of the aspects in George Zimmerman's mind, then we believe that we put out the proof necessary to show that Zimmerman did profile Trayvon Martin.